everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about how to graph a system of linear inequalities on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. So the first thing we want to do is turn the calculator on, and we want to go to our Y equals screen. Okay. Now at this point, notice all of our Y are equal, right? All of our equations are Y equals. Okay. So we want to go left until the entire field there is in a rectangle, and we want to hit enter. Okay, once we do this, it's going to give us this option here to change the color or y equals or the style of the line. So we want y equals, and here we want to change the equal sign to whatever inequality symbol that we are working with. So I am going to go with greater than or equal for this one. Okay, so now if you just try to do that and your calculator maybe only put a box around the equal sign, then check out the video in the top right hand corner right now on how to turn on inequality graphing. All right, so for this first one, I'm going to graph y is greater than or equal to 5. And for the second one, I'm going to change this to less than. Okay, so I'm going to graph y is less than 3x plus 1. And now all we need to do is hit graph. And so once we graph this, our calculator is going to bring up the shading for us. Okay, so now we see the shading on y is greater, or y is greater than or equal to 5 up here as vertical bars and we see the shading on y is less than 3x plus 1 as horizontal lines. So it's very easy to see the overlapping shading on the calculator because it looks like cross hatching or it's like little squares, right? So um, the answer to this system would be this graph. So we still have to be able to um, replicate this on paper or choose this option um, on the computer just depending on how the question is displayed to you. Okay, so let's graph one more. Let's go back to y equals and let's clear this. And let's graph y is greater than or equal to x plus one and y is less than x minus one. Okay, so now let's take a look at what this one looks like. All right, so notice here, it looks a little bit different. We still have two lines and there's still shading involved, but there's no overlapping shading, right? So we see y is less than or excuse me, y is greater than or equal to x plus 1 here at the top, and we have vertical bars in the blue color shaded. And for the second line, we have a dashed line, and it is y is less than x minus 1. And we have some horizontal bars or horizontal lines. But there's no overlapping shading here because the slopes of these lines were the same. The y-intercepts were different, so it gave us parallel lines, and the inequality symbol that we had created shading on the outside of the lines. So this would actually be an example of a no-solution system. Okay? And that is how you graph a system of linear inequalities on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator.